Hey guys, this is Monica. I am coming at you with another little jewelry packaging tutorial. I'm going to be using one of my jewelry making tools that I just love here for my packaging from EasyEarringCards.com. This is the Corner Necklace Punch. You can see here that you have a line and a circle. You make your punches in that shape on the corners of your papers using these guidelines here on this white section for the corner of your papers. And then you get something like this. See how it makes a punch here in the corner? This is just the six by six cardstock. I made the punches here on the corners at the top. I used one of my strips that I had from when I was making bookmarks and I just cut it. Um, I left it on the six, six inch across size, but I just cut it down and folded it to create a little lip here on the bottom so that it would catch this chain on the back side of my card. That way you don't have to actually tape your necklace or anything. Drop your chain down in that little pocket that holds it and voila. Just like I did with my shower steamers and I'll have a link to that video below. I just used a regular Ziploc bag. So you can just open this up and slide this down. I don't have to use any tape. It also gives a little decorative element to have that little band right there. Because this bag is large enough to hold my six by six paper, all I have to do then is seal it up. This is something that's really quick and easy if you don't want to fool with making a cardstock envelope or maybe you don't have anything to size or maybe you need to have this protected from potential water. And then also it gives you, especially if you're using cardstock that has a little message on it, it's almost like a little card. So that is what I'm going to do with one of these. This is gorgeous all year round. And I'm just going to come up to the top of this cardstock. I've got both ends lined up and give it a squeeze. Okay. Got a line and a little dot right there, which makes it very easy to feed in whatever necklace material that you have. Now I've got to do that on the other side. Give it a squeeze. Now I have two punches on both sides of the top of this six by six card stock. I've got some lovely little pearl necklaces. These are some illusion necklaces that I made for a sparkly shopper. This is a light pink and white glass pearl along with some clear check glass it just sparkles it's so pretty i'm gonna want my pearls on the front here and my clasp is already done up so i'm just feeding this necklace down into that hole both sides and for this particular necklace i did it here at both of the jump rings when you turn it over you can see that the way the, the chain is clasped, I don't need to actually create that little paper pocket. If I had a lot longer chain, I would do that. There's my clasp, my lobster clasp, and then I have my little extender chain hanging down. So that is a really pretty presentation. And all I would need to do at that point is just put that into a Ziploc bag. Now the next one I have, a blue one, I'm going to use my other C'est La Vie piece of six by six cardstock and my corner punch if you wanted to you could punch from the from the bottom up because you do have a little window here and this just pops up you can see i've already been punching things so i've got a lot of little pieces of paper here that i could empty out pop that back down in this particular punch you don't even need to do the do this upside down with your window so i would suggest just keep it right side up i have two punched areas now on the top of my cardstock and i will be hanging the blue necklace onto this one. My necklace isn't hanging down past the edge of my paper. Here are the two that I just did today and they don't require the little paper pocket that I made on this one here. So you can see the difference. This just gives you another idea on the many ways that you can do your jewelry branding for packaging that's just super easy, quick. It's not anything that you have to get all elaborate with, but yet 
when your sparkly shopper receives your package they will feel like they got something extra special for those of you that like to make jewelry and you also have scrapbooking supplies embellishments and things like that you're not limited with whatever you want to do with your jewelry packaging and that's what makes these tools so great so if I wanted to I could get out my little punch board and make an envelope that would fit but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead, put them in the Ziploc baggies, and then I've got some bubble wrap. I'm going to wrap those up and put them in my mailer and ship them just like that because they'll be nice and protected. And you don't have to do the 6x6 six six size. You can do whatever size you like. I'm just using up my paper pads. that had these large sentiments that I can't really, if I folded it in half to make a card, it would fold right in half of the sentiment. This is something that I can do quick and easy to send off some necklaces for gifts or for my sparkly shop. Thanks to EasyEarringCards.com. I hope you enjoyed this little project and have a sparkle day, y'all.